There's no society, there's no country in the world where government does not subsidize one product or the other. Even in the most advanced capitalist societies. And that is why Nigerians must now begin to ask the government to discard and jettison the deleterious programs and policies of the IMF and World Bank. Because just yesterday, just yesterday, the IMF was asking the government to remove first subsidy in its entirety and also increase electricity tariff. Whereas the government had told the nation and the IMF and World Bank, come, the political atmosphere in the country is not conducive to electricity tariff because our people are suffering. The government is subsidizing the discourse. The only body, the only economic body recognized by the Constitution to advise the president is the National Economic Council, headed by the vice president. And that body is peopled by the governors, the governor of the central bank, I mean state governors, governor, the governor of the central bank, the minister of finance. So why has that body abdicated its responsibility? to the IMF and World Bank. The report of the, uh, the 2020 report of the Auditor General of the Federation presented to the, um, sent to the National Assembly last November. That report is saying that the $3.5 billion, the loan of $3.5 billion taken by Nigeria from the IMF cannot be located. That is what the report is saying. The IMF should be interested in that. Because we are required to pay the loan in three years. Between, no, four years. Between 2023 and 2027. So the IMF should be interested in that. And stop mounting prayer on the government to multiply the hardship of Nigeria. And Nigeria, the government must, man, you know, must summon the courage to tell this institution to mind their business and allow our country to be run in the interest of our country.